Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Kidantis. And I'm Jim Grimes. An investigation is underway tonight into a horrific wrong way crash that killed two people, including an 81 year old man from Delray Beach. Yeah, it's happened early this morning over in St. Lucie County. It shut down both directions of I-95 for hours. CBS 12's Victoria DeCarnas joining us live now at the crash site with more on what happened. Yeah, Jim and Liz, the scene of the accident has been clear for a few hours now, but that wasn't the case early this morning when a driver heading the wrong way on I-95 caused multiple accidents during the peak hour of morning rush, shutting down the interstate. I heard about it on the news channel uh, in the morning news, so I knew not to get on 95. Drivers like Joey Delaire had to take alternate routes Monday morning. That's because for hours, law enforcement and first responders were clearing a wrong way accident on I-95 in Fort Pierce. According to Florida Highway Patrol, at around 5 a.m. Monday, an 81-year-old man from Delray Beach was driving his Nissan Sentra north in the southbound lanes of I-95 near Indrio Road. The 81-year-old collided with a Honda Civic, sending the Nissan into a concrete barrier. The Honda spun out before coming to a stop in the center lane. Then a tractor trailer hit the Honda head on. Both the Honda and the semi truck ended up in a grassy median before erupting into flames. The 81 year old and the driver of the Honda both died from their injuries. The driver of the truck was able to escape with minor injuries. For hours, first responders were investigating and clearing the highway for travelers. Nearly six hours after the initial crash, the highway reopened. It is tragic. It's scary. People just got to pay attention, man, for looking out for themselves and for others, man. I mean, constantly. Well, the Florida Highway Patrol says that because the Honda was engulfed in flames, the identity of the driver of that car is still unknown. There was a passenger in that Honda that was also injured. FHP is still investigating. Reporting live in Fort Pierce, Victoria DeCardenas, CBS 12 News.